What's up team, welcome back. Today we're doing a full body train like a ballerina workout. We will be using a chair for some of the workout today. So if you don't have a chair, pause the video, grab a chair, come back and let's get started. Let's get started by just raising our heart rate up. Move just a little bit. Shake out all the stress <laughs> that you have. Going through the feet. I think I'll show you pointing the feet to the back. <sighs> Already start thinking what your goal is today for the workout, what you want to achieve, how hard you want to push yourself. We're going to raise our arms up for four, down for four. Going up, two, three, four, and push down, two, three, four. Going up, two, three, four, and pushing down. Go. We want to think we're going through water on the way down, so I'm activating my back already right from the start two three four and one two three four remember this long ballerina neck neck goes up arms go down think you're two centimeters taller than you were yesterday a beautiful ballerina posture i'm gonna go into some star jumps i like to bend my elbows in star jumps because i'm thinking the scapula at the back coming together. So I'm just going like this with the arms. We're pushing down. Even though this is just the warm up, the cardio section, I'm thinking of engaging all of our muscles already. Go with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go a little small sumo. Exchange to one side. Sumo, one side. So two legs, one leg. Two legs, one leg. Arms are going second to third. So the same arm comes in as the leg. Second. Go in your own time. I'm going a bit faster. If you don't do the arms yet, arms on the hips. We're doing six. Four, three, two, one. We're already out of breath. Let's get back to our runs. And we're going up. Two, three, four, and down. Up. Two, three, four, and good. Two more times. One, two, three, four, and up. And dance through the movement already. Simple as these little runs are. Already feel like you're moving, dancing throughout the whole workout today. Good, big breath in. Big breath out. Good, long neck guys. Beautiful long neck. Chest up, chin up, be proud. Doing eight, seven. One, going second. Okay, we're just doing eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm already warm. If you guys are too. We're going to just do a little back twist now, starting with our weight transferred onto our left side, and we're going to go twist, twist. Get all those niggles out in our back. I'm popping my heel up so I can really twist the spine around. And eight, seven, six, three, two, one. Take a big breath in, all the way from the right side. And go into the left side and reach. And other arm comes down, coming into fifth. All the way back up and to the left side. And through. Right arm goes down. Fifth. Use the core to come back up. Good. Just one more time each side. Big C. Touch the sky. Stretch in the side. 
Core reach to the side. Fifth. And back. And over. Good. We're going to go a bit faster now. Reaching to the side. Reach. Fifth. Move that body. Four more times. And dance, guys. Start dancing. And reach. Oh, it feels so good. How are we feeling? Let's just do two more times. Breathe in. Reach. Fifth. Back. Breathe in. Reach. <laughs> Can't speak while doing this. Back. We're going to put our shoulder forward. Back to second. Forward. Back to second. You can see my stance. I'm in a really strong stance. Each time I'm rolling my shoulder back, I'm thinking beautiful ballerina posture, long neck, shoulders back. And back up. Oh guys, chest open. Think there's a light in your collarbone here and you're shining. That light we're gonna do for three, two, one. Coming into a wide parallel position. This time we're gonna go down, back up, and down. I'm going a bit of a diagonal. Every time I'm coming to stand, I'm thinking this beautiful ballerina posture with a neck long. Good, let's do four. Take a little hamstring stretch too. Two, one, and we're gonna grab our chair now, putting both hands on our chair, feet parallel, coming all the way down, get a beautiful shoulder stretch as well. Now what we're gonna do is keeping our legs straight, we're just gonna shift our weight to our right side. So it's just shifting the pelvis. So you're gonna feel it now more in your right hamstring, behind the knee, maybe in your calf as well if you're a bit tight there. And then shift to the left side. Big breath in and shift, breath out. Sink to the right. Big breath in, shift to the left. Because this is opening up the hips. Oh, it's opening up my shoulders as well. And last one. And now we're gonna come rolling up through the spine. Sticking the bum out, bending the knees, head goes up. Rolling up and bend the knees, ass out, head up, and then going the opposite direction. Straighten the knees, bum goes down, head goes down. Now, going your own time with this, it does take a bit of coordination, as simple as it seems. Oh, we're going to go a bit faster now, but if you want to go slow, keep going slow. Thinking of your back like a wave. Let's do six. Five, four, you can feel your back warming up. Oh, it's the best thing to do in the morning. Two, and one. Good, staying here. And all we're gonna do is bend those knees and straighten them, go a bit deeper in the stretch. And bend, and straighten. Go two more times, bend, and straighten, and bend. And straighten, bringing the legs to a little, the feet to a really small first position. And we're gonna do the same thing. Bend and straighten. If you have the flexibility, you can put your hands on the ground. Straighten and bend. Make sure the neck is relaxed. Everything's relaxed. Good, four more times. Knees over toes, heels are pushing down the ground. Our heels aren't coming off. Two, and one. Good. Bring the feet to parallel, bending the knees, slowly rolling up. Oh, how are we feeling? Do we feel a little bit warm? I feel a little bit warm. We're just gonna do a little exercise to warm up our feet now. You can hold onto your bar with your left hand if you like. We're gonna do four circles, two, three, four. We're gonna push over in our demi point, point that toe, and then really bend. So we're getting a good stretch in our calf and the back of our heel there. 
and then we can transfer to the other side. You guys ready? And circling the foot outwards, two, pushing over, three, four, pushing over onto the demi point, and point, engage all these muscles, and push the heel down on the ground, go as far with that knee as you can over without that knee coming back, pointing up, second plie to the other side. And one, oh, get some cracks. <laughs> Two, three, four, and really, really high, pushing over on all of your toes, not just the big toe or the little toe, pushing through the middle. Point, and really, really get a good stretch in the back. Point, and second plie. And one, two, three, four, and demi point, point, Pushing the heel down, point, second play. Go transfer the weight. If you need things to hold on to, put two chairs on either side. It's totally fine. And demi point. And push over. Back and deep second plie. And up. Go one more time. Four. Three. Go as wide as you can. Two. One and high, 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 pushing over. Point to that toe. Really go far over. Point, second, and transfer the weight last time. Four, three, two, one. Demi, point, pushing the heel down. Point, and second plie. Back up. We're going to just stay in a second plie now, plie now and do a little bit of a hip opener. I advise holding on to, to a bar or a wall. Coming into a deep second plie. So our feet are facing outwards. Our knees are directly over our toes. So a sumo squat is our bum going out. Second plie and ballet is our bum going down. So we're going to go all the way down. And all we're going to do is lift our right heel up off the ground and internally rotate that hip. So internally rotate, so we're in this lunge position here, both legs in parallel, and using the same leg. Don't think from the knee, don't think from the heel, think from the hip. Back to second plie. And lifting it up, in to a lunge, back to second, come up, good, and down. Lift the heel up, in, back to second. Up. All we're going to do is one more time on this side, just four times on each side. So four times. <sighs> oh, get your balance. <laughs> and back up onto the other side. Second plie. Lift that heel up and closing that hip in. Really deep lunge position here. The knee's nearly touching the floor. <laughs> I was going to say the carpet. And back to second, deep second. And engage all those muscles, pull those muscles up. Deep down, heel up, close that hip, open that hip, lower, back up. Two more times. Good, last time. Down, heel up, closing it, opening it. I was falling over on the last one. Heel down and back up. Give your legs a bit of a shake. Last hip open exercise, hip open exercise before we go down on the ground for some muscle activation. All we're gonna do is lift the knee up, some front side back, back side front, and go back into a lunge. Everyone knows this is my little TLB combo. I'm gonna lift the back up, get a good twist in that back. And this time we're gonna thread through our arm here. So someone's pulling you from that side and lifting up again. And thread through. And up. Thread through. And up. Breathe in. Twist as much as you can, guys. This is for the back. Think of that shoulder twisting around. And thread through. We're gonna place both hands in front here. We're gonna come back into a plank position, so really strong. Cheeseburger in your bum cheeks, core engaged. Pressing this other leg forward and back into plank again. Other leg forward, sink in. Back to plank. Leg forward and strong. 
Good, last one. Putting our left hand in our left knee. And we're just gonna swoop up. Good, staying here. Arms in fifth. Second. Back to standing. Other side. Our leg goes front side back. Back side front. Hold on to something if you need to come back into this nice long lunge. And we're lifting up. Again, what I meant by this is this shoulder turns. We're not just moving the arm like that, but the shoulder opens, chest open, and threading through that arm. And breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more times. In, out, good. Both hands on the ground, firmly on the ground and strong plank position. So we're thinking strong, 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 strong. And then relax into the stretch. And strong, 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 strong. And relax. And strong. And relax. And strong. <laughs> and relax. Good, make sure the front leg is in parallel. We've got our weight in our front leg. Get your balance here and up to fifth, second, and back up to standing. Let's go down onto the ground now for a bit of activation. All right guys, time to activate all of our muscles. Keep your chair close by because we are gonna be using our chair for some of these exercises. Let's start by activating our glutes. Lying on our side. And today we're gonna bring our knees and our ankles at a 90 degree angle in front of us. And all we're gonna do is lift the knee and the ankle together. Extend that foot in parallel. We're gonna flex the foot, point it, lift it up, 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 draw it back. Good, knee and ankle lifting up. Extend and flex. And point going through the foot and pulse, pulse, pulse and back. Lifting up, extend and flex and point and up 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 and back and everything's in parallel and flex through the foot and up you can touch that toe in front of you if you want a more challenging <laughs> exercise the more you lift your knee up the more you're going to feel it in that glute but just make sure your knee and ankle are equal you're pulsing up up and we're parallel up and back and lifting up extend are we starting to feel it in our glute oh i am and pulsing up 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 back last one and up extend and flex point and last one guys big push push and back nice job we're going to come up onto our elbow elbow is directly under our shoulder and this time we're just going to lift up and down and up down so we're going to be using this glute now where you're going to feel more in your underneath glute i think someone's got think of i like to think there's a nail on the ground and i can't come down i've got to go back up again we're going to incorporate the arm now you're going to float it up and down Breathe in, out, breathe in, out. This time as we go up, our top knee is lifting, open, close, open, and close. And move with the movement, guys. I mean, this is strength work, but we can still dance. Up, down, and up, down. Good, guys, we're doing four more. Oh, can I do four more? Yes, I can. Three, pushing out of that shoulder. Two, and one. Good, guys. Coming onto our side, putting our foot underneath our chair. We're just gonna warm her inner thighs before going onto the other side. Now, you can have your leg in front of you or behind you. Today, I'm gonna put it behind me in a high demi point because what I'm gonna focus on is with my heel, it's not just with my toes, with my heel, trying to touch 
the top of the chair and come back down. Where I flex my foot for the purpose that, you can see if my foot is turned in like that, your quad's gonna engage. If it's too turned out, your inner thigh actually isn't gonna be as engaged if it is completely parallel. So if your foot is flexed, you can really see the angle of your leg. We're gonna come up and down, up, down, and up. Getting a little squeeze at the top and bringing it down, but it's again, hovering just above the ground each time. So we're not actually dropping that leg, it's staying up, and up, and up, and up. Up, up, up and up. Good guys, let's do eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Coming away from that chair just a little bit. And this time we're gonna go to the front and we're gonna rond it up and down to the front. Movement starts from the heel. So turn out from that heel and up. And even though you're away from the chair, still think of you're touching the top of that chair each time. So you're coming to that height. Down to the front, up, up, down to the front, up, up, down. Last one and front, up, up, and down. Good job, guys. How was that? Let's go to the other side. And let's start with our glute exercise. Knee and ankle in front of us. And we're lifting that knee and ankle equally. Extending and flex, point and pulse. Parallel, pulse, pulse and back. And lifting up, extend, flex, point. And a little bit higher pulses, pulse, pulse and back and up. Really think of going through that foot. So I've got a high demi point, point, pulsing up, up, up and back. Let's do four more times. X, point, and up, 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 back. Oh, I'm not sure if I can make it through my times. <laughs> and up, 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 and back. Last two times, guys, lifting it up. Flex, point, and up. Are we feeling it? Oh, that bum. Getting a good workout, waking up those glutes. Think of the beautiful peachy bottom you're gonna have after this. Coming up onto our elbow, giving this glute a little bit of a rest and we're just coming up and down and up and down. Again, think of someone poking you on this side of the bum. Coming up, pulling out the shoulder. Again, where's your ballerina neck? Even though we're on our side, we've got this, still this ballerina posture over like this, but we're just taking it easy. The hardest things, the hardest thing about ballet, and even these train like ballerinas workouts is to make it look easy when it's so hard. Go bone in the arms. Three, two, and one. And good, and coming onto our side, back leg, sorry, right leg's behind us, and front leg is flexed, and lifting up, and making sure you can touching the top of the chair, up and up. Good guys, we're gonna do 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. Good, getting a hold, not dropping that leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job guys, and we're coming away from the chair and we're coming to the front. Start the movement with the heel and down to the front. Can you go a little bit higher with that leg each time? Down to the front. Up and down to the front. Four more times. Breathe out. Breathe in. Up, up, down to the front. Last two times. Good, last one, make it count. You can do it all the way to the end. Pulling up, 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 up and relax, nice job guys. Coming onto our backs now, we're gonna come about a couple of feet away from our chair on our backs and we're gonna put our heels against the chair. Now it's best to have your chair against a wall or something sturdy so we're not pushing that chair away. And all we're gonna do is start by arching our back like this 
and then imprinting our spine into the ground and arching it and imprinting that spine. You can feel when you're arching like this, your core is not active, hamstrings aren't active, glutes aren't active. As we imprint our spine, you can feel your core already firing up. We're gonna go four more times, fire up that core. And breathe in and activate the core. Think someone's taking a little punch to your stomach, so it's, it's braced. It's not like holding your breath though. It's not like going, it's going. Last two times. Arch your spine and good. Keeping that core really strong. So if you was shining a light through, there's no light going through because my whole spine, my whole core is pushed against the mat. And all I'm gonna do is lift now, just my pelvis off the ground and come back and up and back. I can feel my hamstrings firing up already. And back and up and my core as well because my core, I'm not losing my core. I'm keeping it really, really tight the whole time. And out, breathe in and out, in, out and in. Out. This time we're going to come all the way up. Two, three, four. I am tucking my pelvis though. So we're not arching our spine like that. That's going to put pressure on our lower back. All we are doing is tucking our pelvis underneath us. Coming back down. And up. Two. Down. Two. Keep the core strong. And up. Two. Down. Two. And up. Two. Down two, good guys. Are you feeling your hamstrings firing up? You're feeling your glutes firing up? Good guys, last one. And down. Good guys, we're gonna do single ones now. Putting our right leg onto our chair. And we are gonna really make sure our hips, like headlights on the car, they're staying straight. So we're not coming up with one hip, they're staying really straight. My knees are also staying in line and I'm pushing through that heel on the chair. Now, if you're too far away from the chair, you're actually gonna feel it a bit too much in the hamstrings. If you're too close, it's not very good for your knees. So we wanna make sure we're at a perfect angle. And we're pushing up, two, and down, two. And up, two, down, two. Two more and up. Two, down, two, up, two, down, two. Other side and up, two, down, two, and up. I can see my chair is running away from me. That's why you need it against a wall. And up, two, down, two, and up, two, down two. Nice job guys, coming away from our chair quickly. And we're just gonna do a few little exercises for our core, really, really basic. All we're gonna do is put our hands behind our head and we're gonna do a double crunch in and lower, but we're just touching the toes on the ground. And then double crunch in. Giving our legs a bit of a break, warming up the core. Breathe in and out and in. Incorporating the arms now. The arms are gonna come round and fifth and first and fifth and first. Fifth, last one and fifth. We're gonna do a side crunch now. So we're bringing our elbow to the side. We're gonna push this elbow with the opposing knee. We're gonna push back to center and push back to center and push back to center and push back to center making sure you're using all the music all the time center and push back to center good we're doing four more back to center push last two and and Good guys, hands by our side, and all we're gonna do is lift our right leg to tabletop and our left leg, and place them back down. 
as you can see, my core stays strong the whole time. Is your core pushing? Is your spine pushing against the mat? Can you feel your core? Is it tight the entire time? Not losing that core, keeping it active. Breathe in, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, and left leg, right leg, left leg. Right leg, four more times, right, left, right, left, and left, right, left, right. Bringing the legs up, and we're just gonna lower, two, up, two, and lower, two. My legs are slightly turned out, up, two, lower, two. Make sure you're far enough away from your chair. Down, two, up, two, and down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. Bring the legs back down and right, left, right, left, and left, right. Going through the feet and core is tight the whole time. Core work isn't about smashing those abs and doing tons of crunches. It's about learning how to really engage your core, especially your pelvic floor as well. Good, and we're lifting up. And this time we're gonna just bend and straight and bend and straighten. A little further each time. Bend, straight. Good, going the other way. It's coming back up. Go one more time, let's do four down, four up. Three, spine pressing down. Two, and one, and four. Three, two, and one. Good guys, bring them both back to tabletop. Last core exercise, we're gonna go down. Two, up, and down. Two, up, two more like this. Spine press down, down. Two, up, last big push. Oh, and back up. Good guys, and relax. Good, put your knees to the side. Give your hips a bit of a stretch. Big breath in. Big breath out. We're gonna do one more activation exercise on the ground, then we're gonna stand up and do bar exercises. Go guys, just knees in, knees out. Knees in, knees out. Grab your heels if you like, give your inner thighs a bit of a stretch. Happy baby. Good, pushing the heels and the knees to the ground. Good, we're not jolting in this position, we're just sinking into it. Bring the legs up straight, and then just going out to a second, sorry, a split, middle split position, pushing the legs to the ground. You can either grab your inner thighs here, you can grab your calves or your heels. I don't advise to grab the knees at all. Just pushing those legs softly to the ground. No bouncing, just push. Big breath in. And let gravity push your legs to the ground. One more big breath in. And big breath out. Good, bring your legs together. Coming on to our stomach, last floor exercise. Make sure our chair is far enough away. All we're gonna do is a little combo here. We're gonna do four lifts, exchanging lifts. Two, three, four, bringing the arms to fifth. And then we're gonna come up, down, up, down. Okay, so the mechanics, the technical side of these exercises, the right leg is coming up with our left leg. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know my extremities. Left leg is coming up with our right arm coming up as well. And as we come down, we exchange to the other side. Now our left leg comes up with our right arm in front. So doing four of those. The arms then come in front of us. And as our arms now come to the back, our feet squeeze together into a first position. So you've got something squeezed in between your bum cheeks, heels are squeezing together and the back is coming up. Chest is coming up. So a really important part of this, you're gonna feel it in your back. It's back strengthening, that's what we want. And you're also gonna feel it a bit in your glutes. You guys ready? Right leg up first, left 
hand up, arm up too. And lifting up and exchange. Exchange, arms in fifth and coming up. Up and up and up and again, lifting up, 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 arms to fifth and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and squeeze. Good and up, good, just two more times, up, up and up. If you want, you can just do the legs. If you want, like me, if your back's sore. Two and one. Last time, lifting up. 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 Dancing through the movement, guys. Last time, last big push and up. And up. And up. And up. And up. <laughs> Good, guys. Push back onto our heels. Oh, that was harder than what I thought. Pushing back onto the heels. Reach forward. Big breath in. Big breath out. To the right side. Left side. Go come up onto all fours and just sink down, get a good stretch in the back and your hips push the top of your feet down to the ground as we arch up. And breathe out. One more time, breathe. And breathe out. All right guys, heels, sorry, toes underneath you. Heels down onto the ground. Have a quick little hamstring stretch here. Crawling back. Loosen the neck. Bending those knees. Slowly rolling up. Okay guys, we're gonna start the workout today with a first plie and a tondu. You can hold onto a chair if you require. Coming into first, so arms in first. Again, this really strong stance to already start with. Shoulders back. We're gonna do first and tondu. First, tondu. So we're transferring the weight each time. Everything comes together and then extend. Together, extend. If the arms are a bit too much for you, just use the legs and hold on to something if you need. Make sure you're transferring the weight each time. So every time I transfer my weight, you would be able to put a little M&M underneath my heel. Good, you can mix up the arms if you like. Going through the feet, going through a demi point. Point, demi point, and back. Good, think you're pulling through as you come back. We've just activated our inner thighs, so make sure you're using those inner thighs now. Good. Two and one. Good, stepping out to second. We're gonna go out to second, transfer the weight. We're gonna do a flex foot, and we're gonna cross it over, cross it over, Cross it over, point. Second plie. Transfer, cross, 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 point. Second. Transfer, cross, 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 point. Second. Transfer. Really think the top of your leg is crossing over. So not just crossing our feet, but we're crossing over the top of the leg. Down. Transfer, make sure you transfer the weight first before lifting that leg up. Cross, cross, cross. Good, four more times. Oh, my inner thighs are on fire. How are yours? And second. Cross, cross, cross. Point and second. Transfer. Last one. Nice job guys, how are we feeling? We're gonna go into a curtsy lunge now with our right leg behind us. Passe, curtsy, attitude, 
down. Passe. Curtsy, keeping that leg bent. Down and passe. Curtsy. Keeping that knee bent. The knee only lifts up on the passe and we sink back down into the curtsy. Feel that glute. Feel that other glute. Keep it here. Passe. Curtsy. Good. Last one. Lift up. Curtsy. And we're going to stay up here. We're going to tap the toe down. Lift back up. Tap. Back up. Tap. Core engaged. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax, other side, and passe. Curtsy, and shift that weight <laughs> onto the front side, and back down. Lifting up, lengthen, sink down, attitude, down. Down, lift up, curtsy, lift up. Go two more times. Hamstring, glute, other glute, down. Hamstring, knees over toes, glute, glute, down. And let's go lifting up, down. Chest up. Oh, I even forgot to have my chest up then. Chin up. Good, let's do three, two, one, we're gonna hold it for three. Deep in the sporting side. Two, one, and relax. Oh, how are we doing guys? How are our legs? All we're gonna do is two more exercises and then a bit of stretching and then we are done. All we're gonna do is a, oh, I'm out of breath. A lunge into a squat and a releve. Lunge, squat, releve. Oh, you guys ready? Catch your breath. I need to catch mine. And starting with our shoulders back, core is engaged, arms are in third, and I'm putting our right leg behind us, parallel. Lunge, deep squat, and rise up. And lunge, make sure knees are over toes, back knees nearly touching, body's a little angled forward. Coming to squat. Releve, down, and a bit faster. Lunge. Go, guys. Keep really low, and then breathe in. And low, low, up, down. Low, low, bum out. Go, guys, four more. And low. Low, up, and low, low. Even dance, even though we're doing lunges and squats, guys. Keep dancing. Last one. And all we're gonna do is a set of sumo. So toes facing slightly out. I'm gonna come down, up, and down, up. Down. Because my feet are facing slightly out, my bum's going out. I feel it in your glutes and your inner thighs. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last exercise, guys. I thought that was the last exercise. This is going to be the last exercise. We're going to come down, lift the heel up, place the heel back down, come up and down. Heel. And down. Heel. Good. Four more times. And down. Heel. And down. Nearly there, guys. Let's do two more, and then we're done. And down. Go lower. Push through the heels, come up. Oh, good job, guys. 
How oh, are our bodies feeling? I hope we are feeling fantastic. Let's just do a couple of stretches. Let's utilize our chair for our stretches. Placing our right leg onto the chair in front of us, just slightly turned out and hinging from the hips, chest up, back straight. Your arms in second, hands on the hips. Or if you want, place your hands on your chair, just make sure your back isn't arching up. Oh, I'm puffed. I am exhausted. How are you guys feeling? I thought for a second that I definitely would need to stop the video and keep going. So if you guys made it through with me, congratulations. You should be really, really proud of yourself. Oh, big breath in. Big breath out, go lower. Big breath in. Big breath out, go lower. coming up other side and hinging from the hips again making sure the back's straight big breath out breath breath out let your heart rate come back to normal Ooh, notice how your body's feeling oh where is which parts of your body, which group of groups of muscles feel really worked? Which ones do you think actually were a bit easy? If there was an exercise in this workout that you felt was just really, really freaking easy, go back and do it again. Go back and do it again until you feel that beautiful muscle burn. Okay guys, just sitting on our chair, a little glute stretch, right foot over our left. And again, just hinging from the hips. You can come drawing your left shoulder to your right toe, foot. You can also just stay here like this. Good, two big breaths in and out and in. Out, going deeper, other side. Hinging forward, Ooh, my glutes are tight. Big breath in. And out. And in. And out. Good, last time. Go deeper into the stretch, not coming out of it, just sinking deeper in. Good, last stretch guys. Coming with our feet slightly turned out and then just sinking down, knees going over our toes. Pushing the knees out with our elbows. We have our arms in first, we can pray. Just make sure our shoulders are pulled back. Close your eyes for a second, big breath in. And big breath out. One more time, breath in. And breath out. Good, let all of your worries and attention go away. Lifting up, nice job guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this full body train like a ballerina workout. I'll see you guys at the next workout.